<laughs> he missed it just a touch. But it's still so straight. As we all know, golf is a game of numbers, right? You have 18 holes, you're trying to shoot a par 72. Uh, you have spin rates, you're trying to hit a 2200 RPM spin rate. Numbers are all over the place. But forgiveness typically hasn't had a number associated with it. 10K is our new number for forgiveness. What driver are you playing now? That looks different. The QI10 Max. Max, the Max yeah. one. We named our products QI10 after our quest for 10K inertia. So what 10K inertia means is this, this big number that we set for ourselves as a metric for forgiveness in a club. That was our quest over the last couple years. Yeah, I think nice that there. max driver is perfect for you. We just really challenged the team. They kept coming back saying, hey, how about if I compromise this? And we pushed back and said, nope, keep pushing. And when they came back in and they showed us this head that didn't compromise on anything, that's when we knew we had the breakthrough. When you're going through drivers every year, you have the tendency to want to stay doing things similar, that things that are comfortable. It's just human nature that you want to stay comfortable. And I think the thing that we've done this year that's been really good is gotten uncomfortable in some of the CG properties and where we're going and how we're seeing it. And that discomfort has allowed us to grow and make a product that maybe we wouldn't have two or three years ago. Over the last 20 years, in terms of going to a titanium driver, you know, movable weights in a driver, uh, carbon crowns in a driver, now carbon faces in a driver, these are all giant revolutionary leaps that we take. And so we're learning all of these things about this structure and what we can actually do with this platform. So a lot of it was through redistributing the mass, um, understanding how to move weight away from the center of gravity, and a lot of that was accomplished through shape changes, but also by concentrating the mass at the back of the club. At the front of the club, you have metal in the form of titanium. You split those masses apart, you get a very high moment of inertia. The QI-10 model has combined all of these composite technologies and the, and, and the titanium technologies, of, which has really never been done before. That's the breakthrough moment, is really, is how do you give the golfer everything? And that feels like we're, we're there. We have kind of multiple purposes, but we're, we're trying to validate some designs that we've been working on for a while. For this trip, we have some heads that are close to the final design that we're validating, validating our head speed for those, for those products. We made, some, we made some changes to the overall, the head shape for the whole line of products this year, and we, we don't want to lose head speed by you know, but the gains that we made in other areas, head speed, head size, in uh, inertia, we don't want to compromise anything. So we're here testing to make sure that the head speed is preserved on those designs. It's not worse than it was before. The drag force is a measure of how well the air goes around the head. So a lower drag force means that it means our part is, our driver head is, is allowing the wind to go around it easier and means it can move faster through the air. We're able to kind of real-time monitor what's going on with the test. Uh, we're able to check the force. We're able to check which angle we're testing at currently, the orientation of the head. We're doing the work of gathering the nerdy scientific data, turning it into information that's useful for normal conversation. Head speed, ball speed. That's how golfers think, right, is head speed, ball speed. So we're translating from engineering data to golfer speak. I like to say, you know, TaylorMade's brand motto or our brand mission, right, is to be the best performance golf brand in the world. I think if you don't do this, you can't say that, right? If you're not here testing the head speed, 
measuring the heads, you know, measuring the drag force in grams like we do. It's like, I don't, I don't think you're allowed to claim that unless you're doing stuff like this.